In this video, we're taking our plain old graphics and dirtying them up. This is a really simple technique that anyone can use to make your graphics a little bit more interesting. I see that was just a, just a super great intro. Great kid, don't get cocky. Freaking nailed that intro. Freaking nailed it. Here we are on the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve 19 Plus, and we have some graphics laid out here. Something's happening on Sunday. What is it? I don't know. What do you think it is? How about you put it in the comments? Maybe it's football. Maybe it's soccer, the real football. This looks cool, crisp, clean, but maybe a little less interesting than we want. A quick way to increase some interest is increase the texture, the feeling of it. So the technique pretty much comes down to this. We're gonna take a photo of some grunge and we're just going to put it on top of things with a transparency mode and it's gonna make everything just look dirty. What kind of photo? Well, any kind of grunge photo will work. Here we have just a black and white image of some concrete and we could take this and just merge it over everything like that. Let's just look at our media out and maybe we'll transform this and just scale it down a little bit. And then we can take this merge here where it says apply mode, where it says normal, switch that to multiply and look what happens. Oh baby, it already looks so much cooler. Everybody's gonna be like, dang dude, you spent some time on that. And you're like, no, I didn't. All I did was put a texture over it. This is one of my favorite techniques. I do this on just about everything, but we can get even cooler than this. This is like level one cool. We could also put this somewhere in the stack to make these Sundays stick out a little more. We could, for instance, take this grunge. I'll just hold shift and drag this out and put it back here. And now we have the grunge on the background, but not on the foreground. We could also copy this. I'll just copy and paste and put this over the foreground like this with another multiply, but then use this text to mask this grunge so that it's only going over the text. That's fancy too. Then what we can do is we can blend that grunge in separately depending on how strong we want that to be. The other thing that we could do, I'll just get rid of this background texture here, is we can use this texture as a mask. So if we look at this, we have a bunch of black and white pixels here. And what we can do is we can use this as a luma mat. That means that when things are black, it tells it to be transparent. And when things are closer to white, then it's more opaque. And so we can take this texture and instead of putting it over everything, let's just get rid of that. View our text here. We can run this texture into the mask input of our text and yay, nothing happens. But if we go over to our text and go over to settings and here where it says channel alpha, switch this to channel luminance and look at the cool stuff we can do. We can use this texture to control the transparency of this text. And so if I were to change the size of this, we can see that it's actually kind of cutting things out where the darker parts are in the texture. Not only that, but if I select the text and go over back here to my settings under my channel, as it's set in luminance, I have this little part right here, which lets me control the contrast of this mask. And so as I push this up, look what happens. We can erode this and kind of move this back and forth to make a little bit more contrasty grunge here. And now we have this really classy looking grunge that's just kind of eroding our text. Look at that. That looks like we really know what we're doing here. 90% <laughs> of the time I have no idea what the f I'm talking about. But really all we're doing is just taking this grunge and plugging it in as a mask for our text and adding a little contrast in the mask channel. And what's even cooler is when you combine all these techniques together. Now, I wanna show you something that I've been working on that's a little bit of a time-saving tip. First thing I'm gonna do is just reset my channel here because normally this is alpha and it looks like this. Okay, this is how normal text looks. And by default, if I were to take this texture, I'll just rename this texture so we know what's going on. By default, if I were to take this texture and put this into the mask input like that, nothing would happen. I'd have to go in here, change my channel, mess with this and do a whole bunch of stuff. But if I take this texture and I hit shift space bar and I use a little utility I came up with called Instamat, do it like that, plug it in. Look at that, instantly doing what we want. Now, what the heck is happening here? Well, this little utility does a few things together. In fact, we can see what it's doing to the texture here. If we just view the Instamat, we're grabbing this texture we're increasing the contrast and we're also cutting it out. We're using the alpha channel to actually cut this out. So you can see there's transparency here. 
and you can turn that off. You can just make this a black and white image if you want to. But when you have that alpha cutout, you can just plug this in like a regular mask and you don't have to go into the settings and mess with your channel and your contrast and all that stuff for each thing that you're masking. So it saves you a ton of time. And of course you can adjust the contrast and everything. You could invert this and use kind of the opposite. You can even grab this mat and decide not to use the alpha and adjust this however you want and do our little trick where we put this on top and multiply it. And now we have still a different look, which we can blend and play with all we want. So this Instamat tool, it just makes everything a lot quicker and it works with any image that you put into it. Just quickly adds that contrast, lets you use it as an alpha mask and you could easily apply it to multiple things if you want. Well, heck, we'll just apply it to everything in the world. Do a little bit of eroding on these lines too. So now we can really quickly stylize this just with one texture and adjust how we want this to look. Just makes it so quick and easy, man. So can you add texture to things without this? Absolutely. Just a little bit more work. This is just a way to save some time. And if you'd like to get this little utility so you can quickly add contrast to things and use them as mats and stylize your projects like this, it's actually free. There's a link down in the description below. I'll also put one right up there. It's called Instamat and it's available on a little place called Resolve Share. What the heck is, re what, what is that? Resolve Share is a little secret project that Mr. Alex Hello. Tech and I have been working on. It's a website where you can go and get all kinds of goodies for Resolve. And we just launched the site. There's only like a couple things on it right now. It's in its infant squishy baby stages. <laughs> but eventually we're gonna have all kinds of cool stuff like this. Macros for Fusion, presets for the edit page, templates, plugins, all the stuff that is distinctly lacking from the DaVinci Resolve community. We've designed a place for all of that stuff to live for the Resolve community. There'll be a lot of stuff that's free. There'll be some stuff that's paid. And what's really cool is that it's not just something that Alex and I are making. We're gonna be opening this up for creators like yourself to be able to share and sell their own little presets and templates and anything that you wanna make for the Resolve community. That's what I'm talking about. In fact, you can go on here right now and if you're looking for some textures to use with this thing, we have a pack called Easy Grunge. There are a bunch of really nice optimized textures that are perfect to use to stylize your videos. They work great with Instamat. There's also some texture stuff that Alex is doing. Shh. But yeah, do me a favor and go check this out, download it, see how you like it. And uh, maybe you got some cool stuff to share on Resolve Share. Hmm? But yeah, there's a cool way to stylize things in Fusion. Hey, do me a favor, go check out Resolve Share, okay? We're, we're building this, building this for the community. I'm really excited about it. Okay? Okay. Great. I know you think this is empty, but it's not. It, it has coffee in it. See, you can see it. It's hard to not pour it on my keyboard, but it's there.